Welcome back, everybody, to this slow, gentle walk through Anno 1800. I hope you enjoyed the first episode. I did. Taking my time with it really made me fall in love with this game even more. Oh, look at these guys. Hey. I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but I'm sick again. It just seems to be going around these days. So much sickness. Anyway, this episode's gonna be chill anyway. It shouldn't be too much of a strain. But yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to our little village down here in the valley. All's rest. A sleepy little village. I'm always quite reluctant to push past the small village stage because it starts to get a little too much, a little uncontrollable. But for now, here we are. We'll take it steady and keep it manageable as we grow our small village into a town. So what's next? Work clothes is the next production chain we need to tackle to increase the number of farmers. These guys, these guys need clothes and we shall provide. So we're gonna need a couple more farmhouses to unlock that chain. So let's, let's extend towards the bridge and then maybe the farms, the sheep farm for the clothes can be across the bridge. That'll be our small farming, our small farming area. Let's join this up. So what did you guys think of the first episode? It's, it's different to our main series. I'm trying to ease us in slowly for anyone who's never played this game. And also that's kind of just the the style I'm going for with this relaxing, peaceful city building. I've kind of always appreciated the concept of earning something. You know, like we'll eventually get to the stage with this where we have sprawling cities, skyscrapers and mega streets. Mega streets. <laughs> What's a mega street? Yeah, you know what I mean, hopefully. But to get there, we'll have had to have earned it. You know, it'll be a slow process. You guys will have had to join me through 20, 30, 50 episodes. And it'll feel more rewarding, hopefully. That's how I see it anyway. I've never liked just jumping to the end game of anything. It should take time, you know? So we need a hundred farmers to unlock the work clothes production line. How many, how many do we have right now? Um, 84, okay. And in their current state, these houses can only hold eight. So what's that? How many have we got? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, ninety-six. Okay, we need another house. So I just saw earlier today that I know is releasing season four of its DLC, which is so cool that they're still creating content for this game. I mean, I've <laughs> I've never made it far enough to even enjoy any of the current DLC that's out, but I'm still excited for the next for the next bunch because it just means there's even more to explore in this game, even more to enjoy. The, the video they put out was just a teaser, so I don't, I don't know what is coming, but it kind of looked like more airships, dirigibles, which is really cool once we get to that stage, get a bit of a, a steampunk city. So for anyone who, who hasn't played this, where we are right now is the, the old world, like Europe kind of vibe. Um, and then later on you can go to the new world, which is, I guess, based on the Americas, and grow things like cocoa beans, the chocolate. And I think they've also added an Arctic or an Antarctic region. 
and maybe a, another one, uh, like a more of an Africa based region as well. There's so much, there's so much to this game that I've yet to explore, but we will. Oh, there we go. Our new city status, village. We've unlocked work clothes. Nice. What else have we unlocked? So we got work clothes production, schnapps production, a fire station, and a pub. That's cute. Let's have a look at this production chain. That's oh, pretty simple. Sheep farm, framework knitters. And by the looks of it, they're just one for one production ratios. Nice. Okay. So where do we want our sheep farm? I mean, we, we could use this nice open space just up here, maybe. Let me think about it. Okay. Across the river, yeah. That's that's what I said. Let's let's keep it. I think that's cute, crossing the little bridge for the farming area. For now, we'll just make a singular sheep farm. I think later on, we'd need more to produce sails to create more sailing vessels, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they require wool. Okay, well there's our little sheep farm just across the stream. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at our little sheepies. So, I don't know if the microphone will pick this up, but it's just started raining outside pretty heavily. And it's so peaceful. You can hear it on the roof. Just sat here with the rain outside, playing a little bit of Anna for you guys. Taking a look at this sheep farm. It's pretty cute. <laughs> I've noticed I say it's pretty cute quite a lot. Everything is cute or cozy. Cute and cozy, it's, <laughs> it's the only two words I know. Okay, so our sheep farm is a bit too far away from the island warehouse on the shore. So let's place another one. I, I, I want it in line with our bridge. I think that'll look quite cool. Set against the mountain. The foot of the mountain over there. Maybe here? It's probably... Yeah. And I think, I think this is an iron mine behind it. So when we get to that stage, this warehouse will be close enough so that the the iron mine can make use of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's join this up. Get our wool production. Producing wool for us so that we can turn it into work clothes for our little village populace. Nice. I'm not going to say I didn't our second possible. warehouse. And I guess that was a quest complete. Okay. Now let's decide, do we want the framework knitters over here by the sheep farm? Does that make sense? It is a nice day for it. Yeah, you're right. Um, maybe not. Maybe we'll keep this area across the bridge solely for farms. Maybe dot a few farmhouses amongst the farms, but this framework knitters, what does it look like? Yeah, I think, no, I, I think this would look more in keeping with the rest of the buildings down here by the, by the shore, by the industrial warehouse area down here. I, I know that one of the DLC packs is like a harbour pack, so eventually we'll, we'll have this shore, this industrial area along the shore, just full of warehouses and industrial buildings so let's let's keep our production stuff together for now also that looks that looks cool with the with the sheets blowing in the wind next to the shore yeah that makes sense because the, the wind from the ocean would dry them hmm now just where to put it probably just Probably just there. Yeah. Yeah, there. That's fine. Cool. Now we have work clothes production. Woolen work clothes for our farming workforce. Let's let's take a look at this place. 
I love walking around the new buildings, seeing the, the design of the models. It's such good inspiration for our, our Minecraft series, which don't you worry, I'm coming back to you. I've just been a bit sick, but I've been designing stuff off camera, so I'll show you guys that soon. Woolen smocks. This looks really cool. We could definitely replicate this. White banners for the hanging sheets, drying in the wind. Yeah. Maybe we'll work on some kind of sheep farm and smock production. I don't know, I've got so many ideas for that series. And only so much time and energy. But, just like this one, it's a slow series. Now, what's, what's this quest? More farmers. Yep, I will, I will get right on that, don't you worry. We'll grow our little village just a bit more. Just a smidge more this episode. Not too big. Because, like I said, it takes time. But we've got our wool production, we've got our work clothes production. So we're producing a few goods I mean, compared to what is available in this game. It's absolutely nothing, but it's the beginning. It's fine. We've got plenty of planks, work clothes and fish. So with the, the warehouses, I think we can upgrade them so that more goods can be brought to this one warehouse. But that's in the future. We're fine right now. Our little village is just fine. There, so a couple more houses. And that should be enough to get us to 150 farmers once these, once these new houses fill up with inhabitants. So we'll wait for that to happen. Connect this one with the road. I think once we hit that 150, we should unlock these, these park ornaments, trees and bushes and a well. Yeah, I want these. <laughs> I want to uh, decorate our little, our little village of ores rest with a few more trees and bushes. Because if, if you guys have, if any of you guys are from the main Minecraft series, you know how much I love trees. So we want to get a few more around here. Can never have too many trees. I'm curious, how many how many of you guys have only watched my my singular Anno episode and and not not even uh, and not come from the main Minecraft series? I can't imagine it's many since it's just that one episode. It's hardly like it's its own grand standalone series yet. But maybe it will be. And maybe there will come a time when I have my Anno viewers and my Minecraft viewers, and that's kind of cool. Two little communities around two beautiful games. I think that'd be quite lovely. So I thought whilst we wait for our farmers to move in, let's take a look at some of the NPC cities. They're, they're, they're so well designed. It almost makes me wish that the city building element wasn't based on a straight grid structure because look how cool these look having a few odd angles and curved sections looks so natural looks so so much more realistic i know that it would completely change the gameplay fundamentals of the game but it's so cool but even still it's let's let's explore this guy's island because there's a wealth of inspiration here. Just even just like this, this cute little gazebo on the cliff. That's a nice touch. Oh, the grape farm. Yeah, we we definitely need a grape farm in Minecraft. I wish there was more crops actually in Minecraft. Grapes would be cool. Look how it like slopes down the cliff, and this rustic almost Italian, French looking winery. Oh, that's, yeah, I like that. <laughs> the, the ideas are just like, popping in my mind. Popping off. Yeah, we'll build something like a winery and grape farm, a vineyard. 
Oh, yeah, the industrial harbour. See, this is kind of what our, our harbour will end up looking like a bit. But they get to have a few more... They get a bit more freedom with the, the shapes and the lines in these NPC islands because Don't they're not me, bound to the grid. But yeah, I think we'll explore some of the NPC islands every now and again, just for inspiration. Anyway, let's go check on our island. Our cozy island. Cozy island of all's rest. It's cozy and cute, right? That's that's the only adjectives we need. That's the only adjectives we know, apparently. <laughs> cozy and cute. I don't care. It is cozy and it is cute. So, that's fine. So, just a few more farmers left to move in. Two more. And then these guys are ready to upgrade. But I think we'll do that in the next episode. We'll move on to the worker. The worker class in the next episode. And maybe a few of these homes near the marketplace will get upgraded. And we'll kind of push the farmhouses out towards the, the sheep farm. Yeah. I think I like that. I don't think I want the artisans down here. I'll, I'll keep this as workers and farmers and then we'll start a new part of the city up on up on the hill for the artisans. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking right now anyway. That's where my mind's at. How many now? One more. Come on. There we go. 150 farmers. Nice one. And we have unlocked the fire help, station. However overdue. Overdue? <laughs> Were we late with that one? Sorry. Fire station and pub. You have prepared nice. everything. Now is the time to advance by settling the first workers. Yes, I we'll do workers next time. Right now let's have a little stroll around. Stroll around all's rest in the still of this night. So I'd, I'd like to know how many of you guys have played this game before? Because it sounds like it from the comments that a few of you n didn't even know that this existed. Which is kind of crazy because it is, it is a pretty popular game. And I think it's gaining popularity as well. Because the Anno franchise has been around for a while. They, they've done historical games and then they moved to futuristic with anno 2070 and 2205 i think it was uh, i played them a bit but they just don't have the charm but this newest one anno 1800 definitely has the charm so i've laid out where i think i want our fire station and pub to be having the pub against the backdrop of that cliff that looks so cool to me. Uh, that's very pleasing. Very aesthetically pleasing to me. And I have a feeling you may have already seen that as the thumbnail to this episode. Because, yeah, that looks cool. Look at that. That has episode thumbnail written all over it. <laughs> so, we've got the pub over there. And then, if we stroll on through, you can just see the blueprint of the fire station poking out. I think that's a good spot for it. It's kind of s central to where the village will be once it's grown a bit more. So I think I'm happy with the locations of these. <laughs> I warned you guys last time that I will overthink the placement of everything. And yeah, I think I've overthought enough and this feels good. Let's, let's make them real. Let's finalize there positions and bring them to life yeah you guys are welcome enjoy the pub and enjoy the fire safety <laughs> enjoy not losing your cozy farmhouse to a fire <laughs> alright let's have a look at these because I have to I can't not it's it's what I love the most you know and look at these old fashioned fire engines Oh. Oh, that might be a contender for the thumbnail. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess you guys know before I do. 
But let us appreciate, let us appreciate this building and the uh, detail that's gone into it. I think many of my, my, my loves culminate together in a setting like this. I, architecture, history, games, game design, world building. It all sparks fascination and inspiration within me. Exploring, exploring game worlds that someone has designed. Like this pub. It's so cool. Look at these guys having fun. So, Easter egg, spoiler, for anybody, anybody from the main series watching this second Anno episode. What I've been designing whilst I've been sick is the village pub, the village tavern. It's, it's taken me a while because it's quite a large building and I'm trying to put serious thought into the details and the design of it. Because I, I think it will become the iconic. <laughs> What's this? Soren. Knocking beer? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it will become the iconic building of the village. So I want it to be perfect. And this is giving me some inspiration. Just walking around this pub. This village tavern. Here in our world. Our uh, 1800 world. But yeah, what do you think guys? That, I think that's probably enough building for today. We've got our fire station and our pub. Actually, we unlocked our park ornaments and I couldn't go without placing down a few trees. Maybe one over there by the pub. Two, no, just one. Just one by the pub. And a little well. Maybe where... Let's move, let's move these hay bales. Now that we have better ornaments for our village. Move the hay bales and add a little village well next to the marketplace. Yeah, I like that. And over there, maybe one more tree. One more tree by the fire station. And... Oh, is that enough? Is that green? Green and tree enough? Mm. <laughs> no, let's get rid of the uh, let's get rid of this cart and put an apple tree. Yeah, that'll be nice. A little apple tree for our villagers to come and collect apples. Just there. That's cute. And see all the apples on the ground. But yeah, there we go, guys. Our little village is growing. Our village of all's rest, with a fire station and a pub, is steadily growing. But I think that's going to do it, guys. I think that is episode two complete. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was relaxing and peaceful. And even if you just had it on in the background to calm yourself down during these stressful times. That's all I want, really. I don't expect this to be a series that anybody passionately loves, but just something to have on whilst, you, whilst you're trying to chill. I'll be that. I'll be your chill. <laughs> Come back next time and we'll chill again. Thank you, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And see you in the Minecraft world as well. Take care.